Ironically, these tragic events were the catalyst for Tibetan teachers to bring their wisdom and experience to the rest of the world. Many people who met these great masters were struck by their kindness, sense of humor, and extraordinary presence, and began to learn that Buddhism was not based on withdrawing from the world, but on embracing it with love and compassion. That lasting happiness can only come from inner peace. Kensi Rinpoche was born in 1910 in eastern Tibet. At the age of 13, he felt a deep longing to pursue a spiritual life and go on a long meditative retreat. On leaving home, he wrote a letter to his parents. Father and mother, stay in your beautiful home. Your son longs instead for empty caves. A handbook of spirituality is all I wish to keep. Your smiling faces will be with me always. And if one day I might reach spiritual realization, I shall repay your great kindness to me. For the next 15 years, Kinsey Rinpoche meditated in many caves, often remaining snowbound for the entire winter. Of his main teacher, Session Gyalsap, he said, I was overwhelmed by the splendor of his expression when he would gaze at me and ask, what is the nature of mind? I felt that he was exactly the same as the Buddha, and I began to understand how to meditate. After many years of studying with his second teacher, Kensei Choki Lodro, he told him that he wished to spend the rest of his life in solitary retreat. But his teacher was adamant. The time has come for you to give others the precious teachings you have received. His first major teaching was given to 2,000 yogis in the province of Amdo, lasting for over six months. From then on until the end of his life, Kensi Rinpoche never stopped teaching. <laughs> 